welcome back to my channel in this video we will see how to use azure tf export and i will show you step by step guide how to set up and use it right so before starting don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this so let's start it so first we will start it with what is azure tf export right so it is a tool to bring your existing azure resources under the management of terraform it exports supported resources into terraform state and generate the corresponding terraform configuration both the terraform state and configuration are expected to be consistent with the resources remote state like there is a that is terraform plan which shows uh, no difference so your current state and your desired state should match right so uh, the user then is able to use the terraform to manage these resources so once the your terraform configuration is generated you will be able to manage your terraform uh, your resources uh, using terraform right so there are some uh, limitations as well like the terraform configurations generated by azure tf export are not meant to be comprehensive and do not ensure that the infrastructure can be fully reproduced from said generated configurations right so for details please see the limitation so you can check out this limitation uh, i will i will uh, i will mention all the all the links in the description so you can check out from there so let's see the what are, what are the benefits of using this tool so first is simplify migration to terraform on azure right azure export for terraform allows you to migrate azure resources to terraform using a single command so we will see that how uh, this works uh, then second is thing is export user specified sets of resources to terraform hcl code and state with a single command azure export for terraform enables you to specify a predetermined scope to export the scope can be as granular as a single resource you can also export a resource group and its net state resources right so you can export a resource and then you can also export the resources in, inside a resource group so you can you can export entire resources inside a resource group so finally you can export an entire subscription as well and the third thing is inspect pre-existing infrastructure with all exposed properties so it inspects all the uh, properties of an uh, resources basically an infrastructure so whether learning a new uh, new uh, newly released resource or investigating an issue in production azure export for terraform supports a read only export with the option to expose all configuration configurable resource properties fourth thing is follow plan apply workflow to integrate non terraform infrastructure into terraform like export hcl code inspect terra non terraform resources and easily integrate uh, them into your production infrastructure and remote backends right so these are all the benefits uh, then we will see what is the prerequisite for this uh, for this demo so prerequisite is uh, your vs code should be installed then terraform also should be installed then we need az cli as well right we will see now we will see how to set up the az tf export so i have uh, this link open here uh, i will just i will mention these links into the uh, description so we will use as my uh, uh, local machine is uh, windows so i'll use the windows amd64 we'll click it so my file is downloaded i'll go to the file right now i think it's in so now I will extract it. Once this is extracted, I'll close this. Now let me. Yeah. So now if you, uh, this is the uh, this is the folder where my setup is present. So I will rename this. I will put this. Uh, folder inside my C drive. Now I'll open this. I will set set up environment variable for this so that I can use it from any terminal. So I'll copy the location in the environment variables and path edit. We'll add a new path and then OK. Now I can use it from any terminal and from any location, right? So if I open my CMD, just type as a TF export, 
hyphen v so you can see my azrtf export has been successfully installed now i'll close this right so now i will open my vs code so before that create a new folder on your desktop i have created a folder empty folder azrtf export you can give any name so i have, I have opened that folder already in my vs code i'll just do it again right so my folder is opened here i'll go to the new terminal there is one more terminal already but i'll open a new terminal so to run this uh, so to connect your azure portal you need to run some commands right like az login uh, or if you are using powershell command you need to use connect uh, az so i have mentioned some commands here so to install the az modules you have to use uh, you have to use command you can find it on google how to install az powershell mod modules then you can use this command to connect to your uh, azure account you have to provide your tenant id here and if you are connect, connecting through az uh, az cli command then uh, you need to install az cli and then you can uh, you can uh, you know run this command az login uh, provide the tenant id and then login so i have already done this so you need uh, this az cli for this uh, tool to work so if you see i have logged in with my you will see a pop-up window like this right so it's driving the subscription now i can see my subscription i'll put yes so my subscription is set up uh, now i can run the commands right so look clear and then uh, then let's export the resource so uh, if you this is my azure portal if this is my resource group so if you see there are two resources into my resource group right first one is storage account and second one is key vault so first we will see how to import a single resource and then we will see how to import a, re, uh, a resources in like all the resources inside a resource group so i'll first import the storage account we'll go to so what, what is the command to uh, export like what is the command like there is a tf export command to export a single resource so i have opened a, a microsoft documentation here right so if we scroll down uh, there is a there is a three three rows export a single resource so this is the command is a tf export a resource and then we need resource id and then to re export a resource group we need the resource group name right so we need a resource id to resource to export a resource so we will go to the store account again uh, go to the endpoints so i'll copy the Storage account ID. Right now, let me paste it here. Now we need a ZTF export resource. Right, so I'll paste it again. So the command is a ZTF export space resource space resource ID, whichever resource you want to export. You can get the resource ID and put it here. So now I'll paste this directly here and then enter. So my AZTF export is working and it's initializing the code. If you see, some codes are already generated like provider terraform.tf right so let's wait and see so after 30 seconds uh, it's loaded like i can see my uh, one item there uh, if you see subscription uh, name and the resource group name and then the storage accounts storage account name and then it is showing one resource block name storage azure rm uh, storage account right so now if you see there are some inputs like uh, uh, up 
for up and then uh, j for down and then uh, delete skip e show error r show recommendation then w for import s for save q for quit right and then question mark for more so we want to import this resource so we will type import now it's importing pushing terraform status generating terraform configurations so there are some files being generated so now the message is terraform state and config are generated at this location right uh, press any key to quiet so i'll have to have it enter now i can see there are some files we will just check out what are those so this is the main.tf you can see my resource uh show account resource terraform configuration has been generated and some some uh, parameters are already already been uh, provided here like the account replication type name resource group name location right so these are some uh, these are parameters which are required which are there in the existing resource group resource in my terraform uh, in my azure portal right so now the second file is the provider file this is generated by the tool but you can customize as per your uh, your terraform structure in your you know uh, organization or project then terraform.tf then there is a tf state file as well so now what we'll do it we will see if this configuration is matching with my uh, you know uh, the current state of my resource like in the portal so let's run Terraform in it. So I want to run plan and then check if my current Terraform configuration is matching with my uh, configuration of my resource in my portal. So we'll run Terraform plan. so i got the message no changes your infrastructure matches the configuration so it means there is no changes and my resource is imported into my terraform right so i can do changes here and then i can uh, do terraform apply and then that changes will reflect in my uh, storage account present here right so basically you can export any resource and if you have containers and then other settings everything everything uh, this tool will generate automatically there are some limitations which you can see in the documentation some properties may not occur some some may occur so you have to check and uh, do changes as per your need right so now uh, now we will see how to uh, export entire resources inside the resource group with resource group right so let's see this so first i will delete all these files from my folder i have just deleted it uh, so my folder is empty i'll clear this now so if you see uh, in my resource group there are two resources first one is storage account and second one is keyword so we will if there are let's say now there is only two resources but there might be uh, more than two right maybe 10 resources so how can you import all the 10 resources with resource group so we will use the command uh, aztf export uh, resource group and then we will provide the resource group name right so let's put this command here let's provide the resource group name so my resource group name is this 
so this command will export a resource group as well as resources inside that so my command is ready let's run it enter so now it's initializing let's wait for a minute so my importing is done initialization is done so i can see seven items there right so if you see there are two resources first one is azure rm key vault and then azure rm storage account the other things are it's it's just an uh, it's just an endpoints so you don't need to look at it that you just have to import it will just import these two resources so we will type w to import it meantime we will see uh, in the documentation this is the link to download the uh, tool right so you can uh, check out uh, many os version uh, you know uh, setup so like linux darwin and then this is the documentation of the tool you can uh, you can read it and then this is the github link for the tool how to use it what are the limitations and usage right and uh, then this is one more documentation like advanced scenarios like if you want do, to do some more things on this tool so you can check out what 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 and about extra things you can do with this tool so now let's check out if it is imported yes so my terraform state and configuration are generated we'll press the enter key now let's go to the main.tf so now you can see my resource group is imported my key vault is also imported my shell account is also imported so these three things terraform configuration has been generated and the provider as well terraform.tf as well the state file as well so you can initialize and then uh, you know uh, do, do a terraform plan to check the terraform configuration if it is matching with the current state or not we'll do terraform init then terraform plan So the message is no changes your infrastructure matches the configuration right if you want to do some changes you can like if you want to change this name and then uh, this name as well you want to change some parameter values you can do this right and then uh, you can just uh, uh, run the terraform apply so that the changes will reflect to the uh, resource right so yeah that's it in this video uh, we'll meet in the next video Till then, goodbye.